five. Yeah, I'd wear shorts and a t-shirt. Absolutely. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's time to take a coffee break, and we're starting with a car maker's pitch to make snowy road trips a little bit easier. Raise your hand if you ever tried to put on snow chains. Insanely hard, <laughs> so because hard. you're probably doing it when it's snowing outside, yes, so yes. it makes it even worse. Well, there's a car maker, Hyundai and Kia, and they come up with a way you don't have to pull off to the side of the road. The, the tires chain themselves. What? Yeah. The brands unveiled this new concept where the chains would be built into the tires. That is cool. You push a button and it happens. The technology is patent pending. It will work by releasing a memory shaped metal with the touch of a button and designed for repeated use. So see the chains actually come out that of the is tire. That's really neat. The innovation would save drivers time, yes, and be safer for people who live in snowy areas since usually the chains will be easily deployed at any time and typically you do it in an emergency because it's yeah. like, oh my gosh, I need chains. And it's the worst possible conditions to put them on. But I remember last year when we'd get all those snowstorms and then mm -hmm. people would want to go up, you know, skiing or snowboarding, right. maybe for the day, didn't really think about it. And then they'd get to a roadway that was like, hey, where are your, where are your chains? And they're like, uh, uh, I left them at home. Yeah, exactly. Listen, this is why go I live home. in Southern California. I don't even <laughs> want to mess with that. It, yeah. Well, but a lot of Southern California. <laughs> True, when you go, go up yeah, to the mountains. Yeah. Yes, yes. It's kind of one touch of a button. That's that that's winning nice. right there. Yeah, nice. that's good. All right, so we're always talking about the jobs that AI could take away. Well, here's another one that no one probably saw coming. Wine tasting. What? Yeah, a Can recent you keep, test. Allow us to keep that, please. <laughs> I mean, really, a recent test of the technology found it could be as good of a sommelier as humans. No. I know. Researchers found the algorithm can tell where a wine came from 100% of the time, just based on its chemical makeup alone. From AI Tech, or the AI Tech rather, was also 50% accurate at guessing the year wow. when the wine was made. Uh, for the next steps in this study, researchers will be putting the technology skills up against those of a real professional. But I want to know the smell and, you know, exactly. the consistency and does it have legs and what does the cork look like? All and of it. I want all that. And I don't, I'm afraid I don't care. AI that sounded can legit. Probably Thank tell you. you all of that. <laughs> Listen, can AI babysit my kids? That I would be interested in. That's true. Otherwise, <laughs> sign me up for that. <laughs> Otherwise, I have no I'm use out. for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ben Affleck's wife and ex wife are not seeing eye to eye when it comes to their mutual partner long-time habit. According to Star Magazine, there's tension between the two Jennifers because they have different opinions as to whether he should smoke or not. <laughs> Sources told the outlet Jennifer Gardner, who he was married to and has his kids with, does not want him smoking at all and has set boundaries around him, not doing so around their kids. Except boundaries are not about what you want, they're about what, anyway. Well, Jennifer Lopez <laughs> seems to be fine with it because she thinks it's better than him breaking his sobriety because she sees him using it as an anxiety buster instead of turning toward alcohol. So I just mm. think you can never tell someone what to do. Like, I, I'm of the idea that if you go to, you know, if you're with somebody, it, like you're control, you're trying to control someone else. If you're telling them, regardless of what the habit is, yeah. you can say you don't like it. You Although can if they're around your kids, that's, that's that would difference. be where I would draw the line. Cause I wouldn't want someone smoking around my kids. But I also think you can't Agreed. force anyone. So you yeah. can. But if you're the ex wife, suggest, do you really get to have a know. say? That's in the why household? I don't want to ever be an ex wife. Sounds very complicated. <laughs> Well, it's very complicated being the step parent yeah, too, because yeah, I yeah. get controlled sometimes, and I don't yeah. really like that either. Because yeah. it's not—I I didn't ask for any of that. Yeah, it's a tough dynamic, yeah. for sure. Uh, well, this is an interesting story, a big pivot. Style experts, they're <laughs> expecting young adults to dress a little less like themselves in 2024. According to the New York Post, one of the biggest fashion trends next year will be dressing like a grandpa. Thank you, Gen Zers. They're already <laughs> filling up their closets with classic neutral items like trousers, vests, and socks sticking out of their dress shoes. While the trend has recently picked up traction on social media, stylists are tracking its rising popularity back to rapper Tyler the creator since he constantly dresses like a grandpa while out and about. This is um, great news for my husband who has a <laughs> closet full of old clothes and I'm like, nobody wears it anymore. What are you saving that for? Well, it's coming back in style. And apparently styles. the answer is 2024. <laughs> exactly. And it's great for thrifting, right? Yes. You don't have to go out and buy new stuff because yeah. there's plenty of grandpa clothes at the thrift store. I don't know. That's one of those things I'm just going to keep for the young kids. I don't think I'll be dressing like a grandpa or a grandma anytime soon, right? What does the grandma even dress like anymore? I don't well, that's, yeah, I mean, like, well, that's the thing. Like, what is that? Nowadays, yeah. grandparents, like my mom's a grandma, she's in her 70s, she dresses chic. You know, she looks great. Um, so I guess it's like young people want to look old and old people want to look young. I don't know. I personally like this idea for myself. Like, I feel like the typical grandma wears like loose 
comfortable clothes. Like, sign me Especially up for that. Especially because you're pregnant. Well, you're that's like, true. Anything loose. Bring back yes, the moo Exactly. Paul? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to hold off on the moo for 2024. <laughs> I support you if you like. And that's today's coffee break. Take part in the joy of giving by donating a gift to local children in need. During the CBS KCAL Los Angeles and California Highway Patrol's Chips for Kids Toy Drive. Stop by one of our locations and donate a new unwrapped toy for a child or teen. Your donation stays in the neighborhood where you donate. Join us as we come together and support children across SoCal. Visit us at one of our drop-off events or text the word TOYS to 76278. Go to kcalnews.com slash chips for kids for a list of live broadcast locations. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.